had to see the restricted section Lisa mentioned? Hmm, doesn't quite feel like it, though. You don't think this place is hiding some terrible secret, do you? Like those rooms you always hear about in scary stories? You know, the ones that are usually totally off-limits? That's true. We just kind of waltzed in here. And it didn't seem like the lock had been broken or anything. Wait, hang on a minute. This isn't the door we came in through. Are we even in the library anymore? You think? Wow, that's pretty impressive, building all this under the lake. Wait, no, that's ridiculous. No way is that where we are. Hmm, too bad Lisa's not working today, otherwise we could ask her. Well, we're here anyhow, and this place doesn't look too dangerous. Why don't we just take a look around? New places are meant for exploring, after all. You gotta try all kinds of new things to become a good and experienced guide. Traveler, you dare enter this fortress of doom without invitation? Prepare to be eaten alive! We should probably just leave it here for now. This place is huge, so let's keep on exploring!
Oh no, sorry! Guests, hello! I've been waiting here for the longest time and nobody came. I was only planning to rest my eyes for a bit, but the sofa was so comfy, uh, I guess I dozed off. Hey, looks like it's us! Sure can! Talking is one of the things I can do! Alright, so... Ah, yes! Introductions are in order, aren't they? Greetings, my dear guests! My name is... Uh... Wait... What's my name? Uh, not sure we can help you with that one, buddy. Guess you were at a pretty deep sleep, huh? Seems like you're still waking up. Huh? Really? We're just messing with you. <laughs> anyway, Paimon's name is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Okay, great, that went well. At least this mysterious room doesn't rob everyone of their memories. I must apologize. I must have slept for so long that I can't remember what's real and what's a dream anymore. I did have a lot of dreams while I was asleep. Okay, concentrate. Uh, Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, the current me is a concierge in charge of attending to any guests that find themselves here. Ah, yes, you may call me Wolfie. Okay, but, um, if all you can remember are your dreams, what makes you think any of them are real experiences? They're just products of your imagination, right? You mean, if it comes from my imagination, it can't be real life? Oh. Well, it sounds like you know more about that kind of thing than I do. I can't tell the difference at all. I remember a time when a horde curse was put on me. My heart was cased in unmelting ice, and I had to spend my days in agonizing solitude, surrounded by nothing but boundless tundra. I also remember playing with White Fang in the misty forest. We chased golden butterflies, waded through rushing streams, and shattered the very moon beneath our feet. And I'll never forget marching in that celebratory procession with the other troops, being showered in confetti as I excitedly waited for Her Majesty the Queen to bestow her honor upon me. Ah, <sighs> it was glorious. To me, all these events are indistinguishable from real experiences. Take my latest dream, for instance. I remember being in a garden of forking paths, and Madame Mage said to me, From now on, you are a concierge. Be sure to treat your guests well. And I found myself here. And like I said, I waited and waited and waited. And now, finally, two guests have arrived. At last, I can fulfill my duty. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? This place is getting more confusing by the second. But Wolfie seems alright. So we should be fine, right? Besides... Our goal is to set foot in every corner of Tibet, and the courage to boldly go where others dare not to tread is what will take us there. Wow, what a wonderful line! Spoken like a true adventurer! You bet! We're the real deal! Is that so? Well then, I better make sure I do my duty as concierge of this place. I hope this can be somewhere for you to rest and recuperate when you're weary, so that you can embark on your next adventure refreshed and renewed. Come back here any time if you get tired. I'll be...
Before I go on a long journey, I tend to leave the children of the House of the Hearth with some homework to complete in my absence. Many of them, however, simply play to their heart's content for most of the time I am gone, then rush to get their homework done in the final few days before my return. They believe I am none the wiser, but I have simply elected not to expose their chicanery. After all, to complete one's work in the short time frame is a skill in its own right. Check this out! Here's your piece of coin! Too late for regret!
we may leave at any time. You, you want me on your team? <laughs> 